to Joyce's Journal here at the cold Washington Grizzly Stadium where last weekend we uh, beat Northern Colorado 52-7. to I'm here with running back Thomas Brooks Fletcher. We're going to get into a little bit of UNC and also get into Northern Arizona. Obviously it was a good day for us against Northern Colorado. I think um, we would have, as a defense, we would have definitely liked to keep that zero on the board, but sometimes things don't work out the way you want them to, and we only gave up seven. That's still a, a good day for us, I'd say. I think we came out and played well against a team that's kind of struggling in the league, so I haven't got their first win, and that's something you need to do against teams like that. You can't let them hang around in the ball game. You got to make sure that you get once you do get on top, that you stay on top. Uh, Thomas, what did you think about the offense? Uh, I thought the offense had a good day. Uh, it was the first time the offense was really uh, helping the defense out, helping the defense stay off the field uh, for the whole game. So it was really uh, good to get the offense going. Uh, we had a lot of uh, good drives. Uh, I don't think they stopped us until the second half with our drives, which was really key in the game, keeping the defense off the field most of the time. So it's a good day, good day for the offense. Yeah, we're going on the road this week against NAU. Um, they're definitely a good team. Um, extremely talented offense. Um, the quarterback's playing really well right now. They just put up ridiculous numbers last week. Um, put up over 200 yards rushing. Had one of their running backs had a couple touchdowns and about 175 rushing. So they're a good team. They got a lot of talent. A lot of a senior wide receiver in Alex Watson, who's an All-American candidate and a good player. Um, a lot of experience up front. Um, on both sides of the ball, I think they're going to be a good team and a good challenge for this this week. What do you think, Thomas? Uh, I think what we really need to do is just keep our offense just going, just just keep just keep everyone's mentality just up, just being hungry and just ready to go. Uh, I think our O line is getting everything situated. They got a good coach who's uh, preparing them for every week, so I think that's going to be a key in the game. How our offensive line does and. Cole's going to be back there throwing like he does. So I think it's just going to be all, just everyone knows what they have to do. It's just a matter of doing it. So it's going to be key. Um, yeah, NAU's, uh, it's in the dome. It's AstroTurf, not the nice stuff that we out, have out here at Washington Grizz. It's the the old school uh, carpet kind of stuff that tears up your skin pretty good. I'm actually kind of used to playing against it. My home, my home field uh, in high school was was AstroTurf, and uh, it's just something you kind of got to get used to. It doesn't take long once you are out there to kind of forget about it. But after the game, you definitely feel it. Um, more little nicks and cuts in the shower <laughs> that will sting you for a couple of weeks. So. It's, it, it definitely changes things a little bit. It's a little faster, um, but overall, I mean, once you get out there, it's still football. Thomas, what do you think about turf? Uh, well, early on in high school, I played on Astro turf. It was a, uh, I got a couple of scars still from from that time, so uh, I know what to look for when I get onto it. But uh, it's it's a lot different. I think speed wise, uh, I think you go a lot faster because it's kind of like it feels like it's concrete kind of, so you kind of running on concrete. So I think that should be. Uh, should be fun to watch. Uh, I don't really like getting tackled on it personally. Uh, it kind of hurts after a while. And yeah, like you said, the shower is really going to be painful. Uh, that's about it. During the season, there's still a lot of lifting going on around here. Um, we get two lifts in it every week. Um, something that's kind of different, especially for me and Thomas, um, being playing different positions this summer, we have different uh, speed workouts and that sort of thing. Um, different different drills are supposed to simulate a uh, game time type thing. Um, I, we work on, you know, kind of quick stuff, back and forth, pass drops, that sort of thing. And Thomas and the running backs do their own thing. It's it's not too much different, but it's a little bit different. You know, I spend most of my time on the bear squat rather than uh, just a free weight. So, so that's a big difference in comparison. <laughs> Academically this week, um, it's it's kind of nice. I just got done with kind of a pretty hellacious week last week with two tests. I just finished today um, doing a presentation and turning in a five-page paper. So I'm just kind of taking a deep breath and, um, you know, trying to relax and trying to get over kind of the stresses of, of last week and this weekend. So uh, this week hopefully will be a lot easier for me.
Thomas, what do you got academically? Uh, well, my major is sociology. Uh, last week was a vicious week for me. Uh, I had three tests. Um, one of them, I didn't really know the day uh, I was having a test, so it kind of took me by surprise. So I had to, three hours before that, I had to study really hard, so that kind of didn't turn out as good as I wanted it to. Uh, but this week's pretty easy. I'm just laid back. Uh, my teachers are pretty pretty cool. They're not too bad with uh, giving me too much work, so it's it's not too bad. And that was Joyce's Journal. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Thanks, Thomas, for being here. Hopefully we see you out at NAU this week.